If God be for me, who can be against me? Shout out to my girl, Taisha Davis, on this video. I was born this way as a lesbian. Now, this is a lesbian asking me to do, do this video for her. And God bless you. I was born this way. So can you help me to understand some things? Because I really do believe I was born this way. You know what? I was talking to this guy the other day who, who loves being gay. He, he don't care. He's out front with it. Don't care. And he said I was born this way. But I got a news flash for you people. And I know it's going to be a lot of people mad at this video that's, that loves the strange flesh. But I got a news flash for you. You wasn't born that way. Now let me say this first before I get into the video. I feel sorry and I pray for people that has been molested as a child, and I pray for them all the time. I pray for the, the people that have done it to them because when something is done to you as a child, it can scar you for a long time. Some people have been scarred all their life because they have been confused when they wasn't even old enough to have sex. And somebody that messed up a young boy's mind right now, and somebody that messed up a young woman's mind right now, and you got the strange flesh going after the strange flesh. And my heart goes out to people like this, and I pray for them. But I got to stand up and tell the true word of God. You was not born that way. Mm -mm. Y'all tell you when, you, when you try to lie on my God, I'm going to stand up and I'm going to defend the holy word of God. You wasn't born that way. God is not a creator that lied on his creation. Mm. God created all things, and when he made all things, he said it was good. <laughs> it was good what he made. When he made man, it was good. See, we abuse life. We make things so jacked up. We try to make God look like he lying. No, you ain't finna make God out no liar. And I'm not finna let you stand up and talk about God. Oh, yeah. That's my heavenly father. How would you dare lie on my heavenly father? No, he didn't create you to be a no, no woman if you was born a man. Mm. That's why people don't understand that scripture when they say a man born of a woman is born of a few days. <laughs> For the trouble. In Job, I think chapter 14, verse 1. Now he wasn't talking about a man born as a homosexual. He said a man born of, of a woman is born of a few days, meaning a man born of a woman is full of trouble. Full of trouble. <laughs> days are number. So how can you lie on God? If God created you, God created Adam and Eve. He created man. <laughs> and he took that rib out of Adam and made Eve. A woman. Good God Almighty, how, what else do we need to say behind that? And you got the nerve to sit here and say God made you a homosexual. No. I'm going to tell you like this. And what I really want to call this video is that, what, what was that I was telling this brother the other day? That's your choice. Oh, yeah. You choose to be that way. God didn't make you that way. You choose to be that way. I'm sorry. And I don't care who don't agree with this video. You chose to be that way. We got a choice in this life. We got a choice to go to heaven or hell. Just like when people say, God put somebody such and such in hell. No, while you living and you ain't got salvation, you put your own self in hell. Because when you look at how compassionate Jesus was, Jesus cared more about salvation. Uh-oh, not begging for money. He cared more about salvation, not prosperity. Entering to the kingdom. He said, hard is this way. Talking about getting into heaven. That's why it's going to be few people in heaven and a whole lot of people in that wide gate. Because Jesus... Try to teach us so much about salvation. You was not born that way, and you're not going to lie on God. I'm sorry. And I don't know why we want to take these scriptures, and people are always talking about, well, that was in the Old Testament. Like you say, JT, that was in the Old Testament, and the laws the laws are changed now. We are on the new grace and mercy. See, somebody wanted to throw that up in my face about this grace and mercy, but you better look at Romans. <laughs> Homosexuality wasn't just in Genesis. You better look at the New Testament. Fast forward with your Bible and read in Romans. Huh. This ain't me talking. I can bag up with scriptures all day long. I'm not going to be on her putting a hundred scriptures on her when you can pick up the Bible and look at it for yourself. You can go on the internet and type in chapters and go right to them instead of flipping through pages. The word of God is not a lie. Why do you think he's told what Paul told us in 2 Timothy that there's going to come a time when people don't want to hear the sound doctrine? They want to be their own teachers. See, these homosexuals and lesbians are being their own teachers. And everybody else in their caught up in whatever sinful life they're doing. They being their own teachers. They want to hear what's pleasing to their itching ears. Yeah, their ears are itching, and they don't want to hear the word of God. That's why the choice is yours. God didn't make you no homosexual. God didn't make you no lesbian. 
You was not born that way. I'm sorry. And to the people that that's gonna have a problem with this video, video, hey, I can't, I can't get, I can't worry about that. You ain't lying on God. The, the word of God will cut you up. The word of God should convict you. That's why too many people saying they save and they ain't. You ain't no homosexual and you save. I'm sorry. No, like you say, many man, God hates sin, but He loves the sinner. Yeah. If you are born again, you are not a homosexual. If you are born again, you are not a lesbian. If you love God the way you say you love God, and the key word, you have changed your life around, what do that word change mean? See, if I am changed, how can I go back to doing stuff I used to do? If you are a homosexual, you should be a real man now if you are changed. If you was a lesbian, you should be a real woman now if you are changed. Delivered, powerful word. So people, come on, you, you was not born that way. Yeah, I'm going to stand up and talk on it boldly. I'm not scared to talk about homosexuality and, and lesbians. I'm not. I'm not scared to talk about nothing in the word of God from abortion on down, you name it. Whatever sin it is, you name it. Hey, we can talk about it because we need to be taught. And it's so sad that half of these churches I know I go to, they don't even want to talk about the real stuff going on in the Bible and really what's going on right now. Solomon said there is nothing new under the sun. Homosexuality is not new. Being a lesbian is not new. That's why I say sin is sin and it would not get in. Yes, God loves us all. People, the hypocrites once again, God loves all the people in the world. Sinners and all, but don't love the sin. I love that many, man. But we can't get that through our thick heads. Because we want to be, we want to continue to be judges. We want to look at bad at everybody what they done and can't look at ourselves. I hate to say this, man. And it's so sad because there's so many little kids walking around here. They feminine already. They feminine. Little boys too feminine. <laughs> no fathers around. And when they go to, and what's so sad, they looking at the example inside of the church. God Almighty. We putting them over the youth department. We putting them in the choir stand. I'm not, I'm not here to judge nobody. I'm just speaking the real truth. We putting them over children. And these children don't have a a chance, man. They are confused. Why would you want to confuse a child? Putting them in the oh, they, they in the youth department. They the youth director. God Almighty, we leaving anything going on in these churches, and wonder why the church is so jacked up. Come on, God did not. God did not create you that way. If God wanted two men, God would have put two men together. That's what I was talking about in the other video. We want to legalize sin. How are you gonna legalize sin? You can't. What you going to go up against the word of God for? And when you are saying you are born this way, you are lying on the creator. I hate, I, I'm talking right now because I hate to see people going up against God. You will not win no kind of way. God made me this way? No. God knew what you was when you, before, before you was even here. He knew what you was when you was in the womb. So how you going to say God made you that way when you came out with a penis? Let me get blunt with it. You came out with a penis and you came out with a vagina and now you're cutting your penis off trying to get a vagina. What kind of mess is this? God didn't make you with no vagina. He made you with a penis. Now you want to go against the creator? Oh, come on, people. Come on. And people going to get mad at this video because I'm talking straight about homosexuality and being a lesbian. But look at all my other pages. I talk about everything. Sin is sin. But this is the topic. God did not make you that way. That was your choice. You choose to go get your thing cut off. <laughs> you choose that. Not God. God created me as a man, and that's what I'm going to be. God created me to love women, and that's what I'm going to be. Because I don't want to get destroyed by God. I don't want to be going in that wide gate with everybody else. <laughs> doing their own will. No. I, my, my job is to wake up every day, praise the Lord just for this day, thank Him for grace and mercy, and encourage others, and try to make it in myself. That's why people get mad at me when I talk, because I tell the truth. God did not make you that way. People can't even stand the way they look. They go on and getting all kind of operations. When God created you, you was beautiful. Now, what it is, you don't let your self-esteem get low. Your self-respect done got low. You don't let a hard head dog you out, vice versa with a, with a man. You don't let one of these women dog you out. And now you want to try to other, you want to try to strange flesh. Come on, man. It don't get that bad for me, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it'll never get that bad. Good God Almighty. Somebody gonna do me so bad that I wanna start dating a man? <laughs> I wanna see what a man, oh God, this is ridiculous. Why in the world would I wanna hit something that's got the same thing I got? That is terrible, man. It, it, it's sickening in my mind when I think about it. 
I want to get that man. He got a penis just like me. No, nah, man. You can go pay a prostitute than to sleep with another man. God Almighty. Yeah, he told us in Leviticus about a man lying down with another man. Yeah, back then, oh yeah, it was abomination and your blood was upon your head. That's the scripture. Go to Leviticus and read about that. Read about some of them laws and consequences behind it. That's why they still, good question to my man t Rob. He said, why they still here? Because we're under grace and mercy. We're under the new covenant. That's why many men, you keep hearing many men say, God loves the sinner, but hates to see it. And you're going to die either way it go. We all going to die. I don't see too many get taken out with AIDS. You keep playing with God. That's why I say you can't lie on God. God did not create you that way. You was born a man. You're supposed to be a man. He didn't make Adam and Steve. He said Adam and Eve. And I believe Eve was a beautiful woman. Adam ain't never seen life before. But as soon as he got on land, Adam knew what a woman was. Uh-oh. Yeah. I didn't see Adam trying to go after nobody else. Oh, I'm trying to think of it, it, was it anybody that's even around. But Adam, my point is, Adam know what a woman was. Huh. Oh, yeah. Eve knew what a man was. That's why sex is so powerful, because sex was designed by God. Not by man, but by God. That's why people love sex. I know I love sex. Sex is good, but it's got to be done the right way. Because when you have stuff pleasing to your flesh, it makes you feel good. But it's sad that people care more about sex and making their own self feel good than trying to make God feel good and please God. Uh, that's why judgment they got to come. And to all these homosexuals that's lying on God talking about they was born this way, I feel sorry for you. And they, they always want to throw certain scriptures at you. Like I say, certain scriptures. See, me, I study the Old and the New Testament. Old and New Testament. Can't lie on God. Yeah. You better realize what the words say. And God bless.